hello friends we will start again the same thing of the same file and this time we will go for you know types of uh, irrigation so methods of irrigation so, so we will make it as simple as possible if you remember you have the same file from my previous presentation from the tutorial so you know how to name and rename files so i don't want to make anything changes or uh, here but i will make sure that you know you uh, you learn something so what I am going to do, uh, if you remember the first file where you have 120 kilogram nitrogen and I4, that means we have given one pre-sowing irrigation and uh, look at the irrigation events. So what at uh, one at the time, not pre-sowing at the time of sowing and uh, and uh, one at the time of sowing and one at the irrigation on debt. So, so there are four, one plus four. So total five irrigation you can say, but uh, you can call it one plus four because most of the four are post sowing irrigation. So what we'll do actually, we we'll keep this file, and I'll come to come back to you later on. I am going to delete this thing. Simply click on it and press delete. Click on it again and press delete. Click on it again and press delete. Click on it again and press delete. Click on again and press delete and click on it again and Let's delete so i'm going to save it and it will again go and save in the same file where we have given um so we'll name methods of irrigation so we were simulating methods of irrigation that i am going to show you around three methods and now it has been saved so three methods based on the efficiency so uh and here the files remain the same, the same wheat crop. Only thing is that we are going for one is suppose you are going for flooding. You know what is the efficiency, one you may pick up drip irrigation, one maybe sprinkler. So based on that, we can go for three methods of irrigation. And you can have, you know, just to simplify the things I am going to have. So what we'll do actually, let's make it uh, flooding here. Then next one click left click and drag and drop it and here so you make it flooding then drip irrigation okay then third one drag and drop it there make it sprinkler so we got three types of irrigation we named three files and what we'll do we make it up how press control then side by side move the arrow front arrow so it go up then again press control and move it up so now we got three so i'm not going to make anything there are maybe different ways of doing things but i want to make it simple by saying that if we're going for flooding irrigation flood irrigation suppose how much actually you will go get the efficiency done so irrigation and event suppose you are giving flooding i have irrigation efficiency i made it one because we apply 60 um, millimeter of water and we wonder everything is available but that is not the case in case of flooding let's make it point six five or seven or six sixty five percent last day still last so the efficiency is, I just picked it, it is up to you and you can see the literature and see how much the efficiency of flood irrigation. So accordingly, this is just an example to show you that you can go. So I just change this one. Similarly, here also I am making it same thing efficiency 0 0.65 or you can make it 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. It is up to you and uh, now flooding is done. Then in case of drip irrigation system similarly go there and uh, first one let it be um, because the uh, uh, pre-sowing or time of sowing it usually go for flooding you can give the efficiency 0.65 then in case of irrigation and debt and uh, you make it you know 0.95 percent isn't it so save it so two methods and then you go for sprinkler also in case of sprinkler similarly first one irrigation you just leave it as such as 0.65 then so go for flooding then irrigation on debt you go for what 
not sprinkler let it be 0.8 that means how much you have applied if it's 80 percent available so now the three methods are done i'll just show you one example one whole total simulation tree so you have given in the folder you are given name flooding that means that is one treatment this is another treatment drip this is a sprinkler now go to the mate file you know the mate file already just just to show you you have i have a long term data here so don't worry about this so the clock where you do all the simulations and in the mate file uh, i am reiterating again it is a raw data you'll see then rainfall chart one year look at this just one year you can have two years together you can rent for three years you can have four years you know you can see that which year you get more rent something like that then monthly rainfall so year wise month wise also in the within a year all these four years you can find you can reduce here three years one two years or one year you can see that which year is july suppose here in madhya pradesh central india july month you see more so something like that actually similarly temperature chart max and minimum temperature and radiation chart so this is i am i am just repeating again i know you know it and you have you must have seen my earlier presentation then clock also i giving just two, 10 years 9 years simulation 2009 2000, 2009 10 years simulation then i am not going to the summary file you know summary file you should see after end of the simulation so rest of the things i am just leaving it as such you know it so this is one example that i am showing then you click on here if you click on here and go for running simulation all three will be run together otherwise if you individually want to do then click on left click on the mouse on this um, treatment and click it then you run the simulation will only get this run but altogether i want to run all the simulations for 10 years so i click on now you can stop in between the simulations but i don't think uh, somebody will like to stop that one mm, so now what we got we now wanted to um, see how the simulation is going and if it all goes well then probably you will get a result and you will see how the efficiency of different irrigation system or methods of irrigation how it is affecting weight yield we are not going as such you know the previous file percent done simulations so we'll go to the graph so here in xy uh, here you go for finding the because it is the previous one because you are working on the same simulation so you just browse it here and you take you that file where we have you know what we got drip then control then press left click flooding then sprinkler here output file then get all those things see all these things have come now go to the plot as you know we already have these things and that thing so we don't simply don't want to waste our time simply click on the xy plot and uh, you can see all three systems how it is behaving so let's go to the yield first so i'm clicking on this you know biomass now you can see that see this is one example i must tell you here uh, minimum will start from 2000 kg don't um, and look at this uh, from the graph First, what you got? We got three different types of yield, you know, in all the years, and it consistently it uh, maintained the same trend. That means the efficiency of irrigation is affecting weighted, which is simulated by axiom model, which is very good. First, second thing, if you look at the interannual variation, every year for 10 years, up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, sorry, 9 years, you can see that every year the yields are not same there are different kinds of yield. that means it is up though you have given you know similar level of irrigation even if it's the same in amount of irrigation you have intercultural all cultural operations for nitrogen everything same but the interannual variation in yield is due to the climatic effect maybe this is the weather the temperature maximum minimum solar radiation so that means the changes in yield in every year due to the changes in the weather condition that means is well taken by the model and similarly you will see in different years and always you know the genotype and environment interaction also that also affects so somewhere you know the trends what you got here may not be same but relatively if you can say drop in yield in this three year in this year 
was well simulated by AFC model. Similarly, in this case also it is, and see the increase in yield in these two cases or three cases. Here, there is no, uh, no idea why it has sense. You have to see the summary file, what could be the reason behind this, uh, why it is you know, going down from here, though in two cases it is going up. There may be some reason you have to find out and uh, you will find out actually once you work on these files. I mean to say that look at these types of irrigations. You can see the drip irrigation giving more yield because it's efficient. Then the uh, you know uh, sprinkler, then the flood. This is the grain yield of wheat. Then coming to the biomass yield, look at this. Just I'm just removing the fill, and it is following the similar trend also. So, but here in you could see that in the grain yield it was not consistent but here the trend is more consistent in the biomass yield that means there must be something there may be some stress effect maybe that there not be any stress something that is affecting here so you have to find out this is what actually simulation you know will tell you and by doing some such type of simulation you will learn it actually what could be the reason behind it sometimes you know the model itself teaches you actually some of the basic concepts in your in your areas or field and that is taken care so it is a learning tool also side by side it, it, though it is a decision making tools but it's a learning tool also so what you got this model is too sensitive enough for the efficiency or types of areas and you can have all six together so you can find look at this this is the granule this is the biomass hill so friends um i i just wanted to say thank you uh, thank you for watching this and I always try to give you the simplest thing actually to learn about simulation because I don't want to make it complex. So by this time you could learn, you know, a small, small things because I don't want to make the videos more than 10 minutes now. I want to tell you that, you know, I'll give all small, small parts on part of the simulation that you can simulate and see the trends, whether the model is sensitive. Then you can, you know, arrange all those things together and see how actually the combinations, interaction effects, management effects, all those things, how this is taken care of by the model. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope uh, this will uh, help you, you know, learning something about the AFC model. I'm grateful that you guys are, you know, watching it and learning something. Uh, and this is my, you know, dream that, you know, this modeling uh, should go uh, to all people uh, who, you know who do not have access to all those things to take the training so i'm trying this is my endeavor in that regard so i wish um, that uh, uh, people from different parts of the world they learn something and uh, they understand what i mean to say here so thank you very much uh, thank you for watching have a great day